Joining us now are New Center Maine political analysts Phil Harriman and Ethan Strimling. Uh, right off the bat, initial reactions, Phil. Well, congratulations to Governor Mills on her reelection. A special night for her. Uh, I thought the uh, the swearing in ceremony was a little too uh, informal, insider ish, if you will. Uh, I wish she had uh, spoken more to the people of the state of Maine rather than the legislature sitting in the in the audience. And I think she told, uh, frankly, a great story. It was one of uh, history and hope and women are uh, on the move and uh, short on specifics, but a great story. Ethan? Yeah, it, had a, it has a really nice arc to it. You know, you, looking back, looking forward, what will they say about us 100 years from now? What do we say about what we saw 100 years ago versus where we are today? You know, an inaugural speech is supposed to be visionary. It's supposed to be hopeful. I really appreciate it. And I didn't need a lot of specifics tonight. I'll need them later, but tonight it was about vision. Yeah, and perhaps people looking for what she's going to do next uh, in these next four years. Uh, she's still harping on broadband. Uh, she promises to get internet to all Mainers by next year. Uh, is that a realistic goal? Well, they certainly appropriated enough money to bring that uh, to uh, reality. Plus, technology is changing uh, every day. There, there are now satellites uh, up above that can bring broadband internet literally to any pinpoint on the planet. So I, I think it is a goal that can be achieved within the time frame sh she has set out. I, I hope so. When, when I was in the Senate, we were talking about bridging the digital divide. Probably back when you were in the Senate, did they have a digital? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry about that, buddy. Um, I, look, I, you know, this is something that we do need to resolve, and I'm glad that she's made it a focus. And, and we need to make sure that more families can you know, bridge that digital divide that exists out there. I, I will say the one thing that I would have liked to really hear more about tonight was about housing and the affordability of housing. She touched on it, she talked about it, but it is so, so vital to our middle-class family in Presque Isle or you're a low-income family in Kittery, housing is, is just brutal right now. So I, I would have liked to have seen her give as much emphasis to housing as she did to the digital divide. All right, quick final thoughts. Uh, congratulations to Governor Mills. Uh, our, our future is in your hands for the next four years. Yeah, congratulations. Uh, I think we're, um, uh, I'm hopeful that she's going to be looking at some real ways for all of us to work together and find good answers. All right. Political analyst Ethan Strimling and Phil Herman, thanks so much.